Well, welcome back to our video series. Last week we talked about market segmentation and target marketing. So Phil, I'm curious, what comes next? Well, that pretty much leads cleanly into discussion of the marketing mix. So walk me through that. What do you tell your students about the marketing mix? Well, the traditional marketing mix has four components. Product, price, place, and promotion. So four items, that seems pretty straightforward. Give me the, the 10,000 foot view of what each of these items means. Okay, well, start with, with product. Product is the item or service that is delivered to the customer. So it can be a physical product such as an iPhone, but usually when we think of products, we also want to think more broadly in terms of what kind of support and service goes with it, the packaging, um, maybe the ambiance or the atmosphere in which it's sold, all those things can go into thinking about the product. Price is what's given in exchange for the product. So um, in the most straightforward sense, it's money that's exchanged for something like an iPhone. But um, price could also involve barter as a different form of payment. And when we think about price as marketers, we need, not only need to think about the price list, but we need to think about pricing strategy, how we're going to discount over time, um, how price fits into the product life cycle, what competitive pricing is, and things like whether we're going to skim or use penetration pricing. So there's a lot of complexity to really looking at pricing. Place or distribution, we're going to talk about in a future video, but it's both the physical method of moving a product to market, but also the decisions about the types of sales channels we're going to use and, and the types of people we're going to work with to represent our products to the market. And finally, promotion, which is how we inform our um, customers about our product or our company, and that involves advertising, public relations, personal selling, and sales promotion. Okay. So you've said in the past that the marketing mix ties directly to market segmentation and target marketing. Correct. How exactly do these fit together? Well, basically what we want to do is have a different marketing mix for each segment that we're addressing. And you may remember earlier that we talked about um, some targeting strategies don't address every segment. For example, a concentrated strategy might only look at one or two segments. But in any event, every segment gets a different marketing mix. Why, why three like this? Why not just one marketing mix for the segment? Well, because it gets very expensive. I, let's, think of, let's think of a segment for a segmentation, the iPhone for example, in which you might have segmented demographically by age and gender. So you have one segment, teenage girls, and you have another segment, middle-aged men. Well, clearly what they read, um, how they use social media, what they watch on TV are going to be very, very different. So you don't want to be running the same advertisements for both segments because you're going to be spending a lot of money trying to address one and really missing addressing the other or vice versa. Um, you don't want to advertise to teenage girls in you know, Popular Mechanics magazine. Seems, seems costly to me. Well, it, it does on the surface, but it's really a money saver because, you know, usually for most of the marketing mix, you're holding it pretty steady. So you look at the iPhone, the iPhone um, uses the same product for all of its segments. It uses the same packaging for all of its segments, and pricing is very similar, but the places they advertise are going to vary depending on the segment. That way they save money by not wasting resources advertising to a segment in a channel that might not be responsive. So basically fine-tuning one of these marketing mix variables to better reach your target market. Yeah, one or possibly more. Okay. Yeah. That gives me a lot to go on. Okay. Thanks for your insights today. That was a great lecture, wasn't it, Greg? That was, that was pretty good. Yeah. I appreciate it. Good. Thanks.